Hi Libra babies. If you're a Libra sun, moon, rising, or you're dealing with a Libra in your love life, you can cross watch as well. This is going to be for you to find out what is going on in your love life right now or the near future. So here we go. Take it as it resonates and don't forget to listen to the other aspects of your chart, your sun, moon, rising. Okay. Let's see what's going on, spirit, for Libra. Libra, what's happening? What's going on, my Libra babes? Are you guys doing okay in your love life? If you're not already, subscribe to my channel if you're resonating with my readings. I'd love to have you join my collective if I'm tapped into your energy. Get one more, one more oracle card. Healing family issues and honeymoon. Let's get some tarot for my Libra babies. Seven of Pentacles. Wow, some of you are doing some deep inner child healing right now. Some of you might be getting triggered, actually, from things that happened in your childhood or things that are coming up that you're working through that originated from childhood. There's a lot of reflecting on the past, but like a long time ago for you babes that are that this message is for. There's like some deep healing, deep, deep healing. Some of you, it's surrounding energy with your, your father. Healing past trauma that is connected to your, your father, grandfather, masculine, even like the masculine within, even if you're a feminine, you're like healing the masculine energy. Because it looks like you were wounded in your childhood for most of you. Okay, and there could be some repeated patterns like that your parents had, their relationship. For those of you that had parents with a toxic situation, it's like there's some mirroring going on with that where you're, you might be repeating some cycles, breaking generational cycles when it comes to specifically romance yeah i'm feeling a lot of negativity i'm also getting 777 synchronicity for you babes so whoever this is for you're going to be seeing sevens if you haven't already spirit's very much connected to you Specifically with this situation involving your love life. Ten of Swords. Yeah, you guys have been through some really painful stuff in the past. That it was either in your love life or it's affected your love life. Some of you are dealing with um, the, the father of your child, the mother of your child, and it, it didn't go well. There's... Yeah, some of you have, there's somebody here that has children with this person that you're dealing with. This is like um, a, a baby daddy that you have to deal with, that things ended badly with, and there's a lot of things that need to be healed from the situation. I'm getting that some of you have been like cheated on, or you, your father like always cheated on your mother, or even, not even cheating but um deception period hiding addictions i'm getting hidden addictions for some of you extreme addiction for some of you not necessarily hidden but that it was like out of control you might have had a parent that was an addict too or you dealt with an ex that had addiction struggled with addiction here okay i see a lot of like betrayal in your past and like painful things dark darkness 
but this is the thing is you're moving toward like you're you're in your little canoe and you're moving toward the calm waters more enjoying your life enjoying things so it's like this difficult energy is in the past now you got over the hard part or you you've been through or you're currently in the thick of it or you just recently went through a lot and you're getting to a point where things are going to be more calm and easier not so much trauma happening not so much stress not so many issues so that you have it's like you have time to heal spirits bringing you some peace so that you have time to heal some of you guys um, are connecting with a friend or a family member or a new love that is going to help you heal. There's somebody coming in. Spirit's bringing a person in. Or they recently. They recently. Connected you with a. A person that's going to help you heal. Some of you are seeking counseling. Or you're doing some deep shadow work. Life coaching self-reflection i see you guys doing really well um after a period of healing you're going to feel more balanced and peaceful and happy and enjoying life and feeling like okay things are finally going smoothly for me it's like things are finally looking up you guys have been through a lot, but like they say, the bigger the mountain, the bigger the muscles. So you guys are coming out stronger than, you know, you're super strong. You're makes me that much stronger, makes me work a little bit harder. Is that Christina Aguilera? Makes me that much wiser. Thanks for making me a fighter. Yeah, you guys are like a fighter. You guys aren't giving up. You've worked through some tough shit or you're currently working through some tough shit and you're manifesting exactly what you want. You guys are the magician. A lot of you are manifesting marriage or a really serious, committed, trustworthy relationship that's solid with somebody that's a past life relationship for you. I see you guys manifesting lifelong commitment here with a past life person. You might have already started manifesting that and connect with this person. Like some of you guys are in that honeymoon phase right now. You're moving toward this. I mean, you're going to be, this is marriage and this is going on your honeymoon with a past life connection. Somebody that you're going to feel like, you know, you're going to feel comfortable with each other. Your, your souls are tied together. You're connected in this lifetime and other lifetimes. He could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Taurus coming through. This is somebody that you're like super attracted to. There's a lot of chemistry between the two of you. You're manifesting like a really passionate, serious, committed relationship that brings you a lot of good memories. Like you guys are going to be making memories together but they're going to be good memories because I feel like right now you kind of have some tough memories in your life. When you look back on things that have happened, it's tough. But you're making these new happy memories with somebody. Where things are just going better. It's like a happy time. I see you guys like taking vacations or going on really nice dates. Um... Spending quality time with somebody that you're either married to or it's, it's leading to lifetime commitment. You guys are manifesting more of what you want and it looks like you're, the past was hard. A lot of you dealt with deception. A lot of you dealt with painful endings and betrayal. And there were some family issues, childhood issues for a lot of you that needed to be worked through, that you needed to heal from, that you needed to get some sort of help with for some of you to help you manifest a better a better life you're manifesting a better life libras i like it okay good for you babies 
So let me know how this resonates down below if it was for you. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And if you need a private reading or any spiritual jewelry, you can go to my Etsy shop and shop around for private personal readings or any spiritual tools that you need. And if you're done here for today, I will see you next time. Don't forget to listen to your sun, moon, rising, and cross watch so you don't miss any messages. All right, babes? I'll see you next time. Bye.